An important property of waves is something called diffraction. Now diffraction is all about the spreading out of waves when they uh, go through some sort of hole or an aperture. So maybe we better define it that way. So diffraction is just the, um, so when waves go through an aperture, now an aperture just means a hole of some kind. So when they go through an aperture, they spread out. And this spreading out, that is the diffraction. It's the spreading out of these waves. So what this means, this could be light waves because light diffracts. This could be a water wave because water also diffracts really well. And maybe I'll use actually, I'll use that water as, a, as an example. Uh, so let's say we have some sort of situation where we have some sort of opening where water waves can pass through. So maybe it's a really big opening here. So maybe that's a, a big wide opening here. Now this opening, what I'm going to do is draw the size of this opening will be D here. Okay, that'll be D. That'll be the size of the opening. Now this right here then, this will be the actual sort of wall here. This is some sort of wall. I don't know what this is. This could be anything. Could be solid wall here. And we're just measuring the distance. So let's say these are water waves coming in. So if we look at a top view of a water wave, maybe this is like the wave fronts coming in. So maybe they look like this. Something like this. So as the waves are coming in, you know, maybe they have this direction right here. So this is the direction of the waves here. So as the waves come in, they're going to go through this hole. Now what's important then to look at is this distance right here. So this distance, that's the wavelength. So from, you know, one wave front to the next wave front, that's the wavelength. And if you look at this, the hole is much bigger than the wavelength. Okay, that's going to be the key thing here. So if D, whoops, if D is much greater than a wavelength, we're going to see what happens here. So it turns out what happens is not much. In other words, these waves, they're still going to have the same wavelength. So maybe I'll just try to draw them again. So they're, they're pretty close together like this, weren't they? Something like this. I'm just trying to draw them roughly the same as what they should be here. So something like this. So whatever they started out with. Except here, they're going to spread out just a little bit. So at the end of here, they might spread out a little bit. So they go something like this. Okay, so they spread out only a little bit. In other words, these waves didn't really change much in shape. So this right here, we can say if D is greater than lambda, not much diffraction. They don't spread out much. Okay, so this could be sort of a key thing here. So if, if the distance in other words, if the opening is much larger than the wavelength, there's not much diffraction. It doesn't spread out much. Not very exciting. But what happens then if our opening is quite small compared to the wavelength? So maybe I make the opening like this instead. So again, I'm going to draw it the same way. So here's my little wall somehow. And this now, this is D here. This distance right here. That's D from here to here. So now the D is very small. And if I take a look at these waves again, maybe I make them uh, like this. Let's say I had them coming in like this, these waves. Or again, this is the wavelength. Well, if the opening is smaller than the wavelength, then they'll actually diffract more. So now we're going to see things more like this. They're going to sort of spread out as they go along. And of course, this is the direction of travel of the wave, just to show you. So the wave is coming in like this. It's going to spread out more. So then the th distinction we can make is that if D is less than lambda, we can say it's more diffraction. In other words, more spreading out. More diffraction. So this is the key thing happening here. So you see that that's the difference between, well, that's how we can get more or less diffraction. It's all about the aperture compared to the wavelength. So if the aperture is very small compared to the wavelength, there is more spreading out. And if the aperture is large compared to the wavelength, not much spreading out. 
And actually, my poor wife, uh, I've been so excited about when we go, uh, we have a little summer house. So it's like a little cottage that's near the water up north. Um, now, I'm in Denmark is where I live. So uh, north of Copenhagen, uh, we're sort of near the sea. And so our little house, we sort of, we walk about 10 minutes and then we get to the ocean and it's beautiful. But the place where people go swimming, this actually happens. This is the coolest thing is I see this diffraction effect uh, every time we go swimming. So imagine then that this is, this is us, this is like a top view, this is the coast here. And what they do is they have these little artificial beaches that are sort of made like this and then they have these big sets of rocks here. And then another artificial beach and a big set of rocks. And this is a top view. So what you're doing then is the people, you know, if you look at this then as the waves come in from the ocean, you know, the waves are coming in like this. And these are like all rocks here. They're made to break the big waves coming in. Because if you're like a little kid swimming, you don't want giant waves crashing over you. So what they do then is uh, in between these sort of these rocky places and then here there's some, I mean here it's all beaches. So people are all playing along this beach here. And if they want to go swimming, they swim in here. Well, what happens then is that these things, the openings here, are actually smaller than the length of the waves. So what happens is this, as these waves come in, they totally diffract like this. In other words, I see these waves coming in and they completely spread out. And I was so excited when I saw this, I was like uh, to my wife, I said, oh my God, there's diffraction. She's like, what, come on, can't we just go swimming? But I was just so excited because this exact effect was happening. If you're a water wave coming in from the ocean, and these are the rocks, these are the, uh, a little place where they've put some rocks here and rocks here, a little opening, what happens is then these waves totally spread. And this is where we'd be swimming. We'd be swimming along here. Or in this example, it's just flipped upside down. My drawing is maybe not very clear. I think I'm just going to erase that. But uh, I think you get the picture. So you can actually see diffraction in everyday situations. Sound waves can also diffract when they go through an opening. So in other words, the sound can actually spread. And light does the same thing. So these could be wave fronts of light. And this light can go through an aperture and they can spread. So diffraction happens in all sorts of situations. And it's pretty neat, not just if you're swimming and bothering your uh, poor wife who's just trying to go swimming with you. But uh, this works for any situation.